Hi, I'm Polar Running Coach Maria, and I'll take you through some plyometric exercises. If you're new to plyo, I recommend starting off easy as this is a physically challenging workout. Just get a feel for the first two moves, which are both bilateral, meaning you get the added support of landing on both feet at the same time. Doing one to two rounds and three to five repetitions of both moves is a good start. Plyometric training, formerly known as jump training, can add a fun and challenging component to your normal workout routine. Doing a plyo session is a great way to get a tough workout in a really short time. Plyo is not your rest day workout though, as it requires you to use your muscles to near maximum potential. The benefits of plyo are numerous. It challenges the muscles and connective tissues, and it develops the neuromuscular and cardiovascular systems. Plyo also builds your strength more efficiently in a different way than bodyweight exercises do. Plyometrics is truly an anytime, anywhere type of workout, as you don't need any equipment for most of the plyo moves. If you're already familiar with plyo and you're up for the challenge, feel free to go through all five movements doing up to 10 repetitions per move with three to five rounds of work. Remember to always do a good warm up before you get going with plyo. Let's hop to it. Jump squats. Start with your feet hip width apart or a bit wider with your knees and toes slightly turned out. Lower your hips to knee level, then jump up high and fast, landing at start position and hold. Make sure your weight is mostly on your heels, your core is engaged by pulling your navel towards your spine and your chest is lifted. Long jumps. Stand in a squat stance with feet shoulder width apart. Bend your knees and lower your hips to knee height or slightly higher. Push off the floor and jump as far forward as you can. Swing your arms to add length to the jump. Try to land with your feet slightly in front of you. Walk or run back and repeat. Skater jump. Stand on one leg with your hips and leading leg knee bent, trailing leg hovering in the air behind you and find your balance. Jump to the side going for both length and height. Land on the ball of the trailing leg foot bending your knee and lowering to set up position. Allow arms to assist the motion. Aim to keep your back straight, your leading leg knee and toes aligned and pointing forward and your arms ready to move. Lunge jumps. Take a long step forward and drop your back knee down into a lunge position close to the floor. Both knees should be roughly at a 90 degree angle. Jump up, pushing with both legs, and switch leading leg mid-air. Land in the setup lunge position, but with the opposite leg in front. Lower until knees are at 90 degrees, and repeat. Slide and dunk. Start from standing position with your feet close. Hop laterally, landing on one foot, allowing the other foot to follow. Then push off the floor with both feet, reaching high with your arms as if preparing to dunk a basketball. Land on both feet and repeat on the other side. 